Kora and welcome to the beautiful coastal Bay of Plenty. My name is Denise and I'm the Trade Marketing Manager. Today we're going to take you on a virtual tour of our wonderful region. The Bay of Plenty has some of the highest sunshine hours. We are really well known for our wonderful beaches here. During the summer is when our pahutakawas are flowering and of course our beach is beckoning for you. Our autumns are about doing cycling and of course some of those lovely walks to summits and waterfalls. Our winters are very mild and again a lovely time to spend here. And our spring is when our marine life is alive with young babies. The other area that we are well known for is our food. We have a number of top restaurants here all serving locally sourced produce. We are proud to be known as one of the most accessible regions in New Zealand. The Coastal Bay of Plenty sits on the east coast of New Zealand's North Island and is connected by daily flights from Auckland, which takes 40 minutes, Wellington 1 hour 15 and Christchurch 1 hour 50. The scenic drive from Auckland will take approximately three hours to the city of Tauranga. From here you can reach Rotorua in 45 minutes or Whakatane in one hour. Hamilton is one hour 15 and Taupo is only two. There are plenty of options to stop along the way. Coming along the Pacific Coast Highway, your clients should take time to stop in at the Karangahaki Gorge for some amazing scenery. All along the coast there are secluded bays and beaches to discover and plenty of lovely accommodation options to enjoy. If you are looking for arts and history, Katikati is worth a visit, known as the avocado capital and the mural capital of New Zealand. Travelling further on the Pacific Coast Highway, they will arrive at the seaside town of Whakatane. This is where our cultural story and history is clearly etched within our local community. Find our story by visiting Matatua, the house that came home. Your clients will arrive as a visitor and leave as a friend. Behind me is the beautiful Mount Monganui Beach, so let's go take a look. We have a number of water activities here in our region. I'd highly recommend a dolphin seafari trip, swimming with dolphins or taking a full day trip out with Brandon on Bay Explorer. The kids might like to just spend the day swimming or perhaps learning to paddleboard or kayak while they're here. And if you're looking for an evening kayak, then I highly recommend heading out to Wai Marino up into the canyon to see the glowworms. We have a diverse range of accommodation here, including Oceanside Apartments, boutique hotels like Trinity Wharf Hotel and Hotel on Devonport in our city centre. If your clients are wanting to be with nature, then we have a number of glamping options available as well. Our next stop on our tour is Tasman Holiday Park, Papamoa Beach. Welcome to Tasman Holiday Park's Papamoa Beach. It's lovely to be here. Can you tell me a little bit about your accommodation? We offer a range of different types of accommodation for our guests, ranging from our beachfront villas that are perfect for romantic getaways or families that are fully self-contained. We have our garden villas for our larger groups and gatherings that are fully equipped. For our more adventurous camping type guests, we have cabins and camping powered sites that use our communal facilities. That's fantastic. And tell me a little bit about what do people actually love about coming here to stay? Yeah, I mean, people love the view. I mean, the beach. It's amazing, Yeah, right? we're the only accommodation provider located in this region right on the beach. We are also just a short walk from town. Uh, we have a range of different facilities for everyone, playgrounds, jumping pillows, all of those things. And we are excited to add to our room count with some amazing two to three bedroom beachfront apartments that'll be also facing our very large heated swimming pool. Wow, so you've definitely got something for everybody, right? Yes. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us today. And I'm now off to Motohora Island. Good morning. How are you going, Patrick? Thanks, Denise. Could I just get you to disinfect your shoes? Sure. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, come Good on down. Morning. Here we go, welcome on board. Thank you. 
So Patrick, can you tell us a little bit about your tours and what you have to offer? Certainly. So we're called Ngāti Awa Tourism and we offer tours out to this stunning island called Motohora. It's a boat ride of about 15 minutes. We visit this island because it's an amazing conservation story. So it's a wildlife sanctuary, home to a lot of endangered bird life in particular, but also New Zealand fur seals and a lot of our endangered reptiles. So it's a very special spot and this is a hot water beach, which is just the jewel in the crown. It's stunning. So I understand some of the ticket price gets given back to the community? That's right, so every visitor that comes contributes to the Whakatane Coast Guard and also to the Department of Conservation, so that goes back into regenerating the island. Fantastic. And what else do you offer with your tours? So back in Whakatane, where our tours depart from, we offer 39-room accommodation called the Awa Motel. Uh, so we can do an all-inclusive package, uh, make it nice and easy for our visitors. That's lovely. Thank you, Patrick. I'm really looking forward to having a really good look around. Okay. That was an amazing experience. We're off to see our next stop. Welcome to McLaren Falls Park. This is an easy drive of 20 minutes from the city centre of Tauranga. This park here has one of the largest collections of botanical trees in New Zealand. There are a number of walking trails for different levels of fitness within the park. And Marshall's Animal Park is ideal for young children. This is where Waimarino kayak tours leaves from. So they'll lead you onto the lake and then take you up to the Mangapapa Canyon to see the glowworms in the evening. They can also pick your clients up from their accommodation within the city centre, or you can meet them out here. And now we're heading to one of our kiwi fruit producers. So let's go. So we're here today with Gavin from Kiwi Fruit Country. Can you tell us why kiwi fruit grows so well here? It's our climate in the Bay of Plenty. We have plenty of sunshine, plenty of rain, it's also the deep volcanic ash soil that we have. It's also the geography, our close proximity to the ocean. It's the hills, it's the valleys. And that's why 80% of all kiwi fruit grown in New Zealand grows right here in the Bay of Plenty. And you run tours? We do, we do an hour long tour. We explore the orchard. We look at the production cycle of kiwi fruit. We explain how the flowers are pollinated by the bees. We talk a little bit about the growing, the varieties, the harvest, and how the fruit ultimately end up in the various markets. So yeah, it's looking a fairly healthy wow, crop. Wow, this looks amazing. Really lots and lots of fruit, yep. right? So thanks, Gavin. I can't wait to try these. I believe they're full of vitamin C. We've got one last stop on our tour. So let's go cruising with V8 trikes. Hi Catherine. Hi Denise, welcome to B8 Trike Tours. Thank you, can you tell me a little bit about your tours? Yep, certainly. So we have tours ranging from 15 minutes to three hours. We cater for ages two, three upwards with a booster seat to 104 is our eldest customer so far. Located in the center of the mount, people can find us very easily. We do hotel pickups, accommodation providers, any special requests we try and cater for too. So what do your clients love about these trikes? They love the fact that they're registered as cars and not motorbikes, so you wear seatbelts, not helmets, so you get a 360 view of your surroundings. Travelling along here, it's an awesome ride. We stop and take photographs, they experience the outdoors, it's just wonderful. Great, and if you were to pick one place in the Bay of Plenty as your favourite, where would that be? Without doubt, the Minden Lookout. Yeah, it's a lovely ride round through the centre of Tauranga up to the Minden. It's just a beautiful, beautiful spot. From there, you see Mount Monganui, you see the whole of the bay, right round the coast of Whakatane. It's just awesome. Sounds awesome. Would you like to come for a ride? I can't wait. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, then. You all strapped in there, Denise? so 
much fun. Thank you for coming on this virtual tour with us of the Coastal Bay of Plenty. We look forward to welcoming your clients to our area soon. Kia kaha.